California biohackers have created something like night vision eye drops. Eye drops that use uh, chlorine E6. This is a molecule that allows uh, deep sea fish to see in the dark uh, by introducing this to the eyes directly, which terrifies me. Uh, but with it, they found success. So after applying the drop, scientists were able to clearly and instantly recognize uh, people over 160 feet away wow. in pitch darkness standing in the woods. Look out, Slender Man. You've been got. <laughs> <laughs> this is dope. I love this. I love this. I, I totally endorse it. Whatever research they need to get these out to our soldiers and whoever needs these, uh, let's make it happen because I, I think uh, it'd be cool to see in the dark. I would be terrified if this was being tested on me. Really? Like, there is no way. Uh, I, I spent a lot of money on LASIK, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, it's cool, but then when you start thinking about this, is like I'm calling it now. This is the first step to gene splicing, where they're going to create a Captain America like super soldier, and this technology is going to get you know to the entire world, and people are going to be fighting and stuff. I mean, unless they give me like a bird gene splice and I can fly or something you like want that. Birdman? No, I just want to fly. I want to levitate or something. I mean, if I if I sprout wings, that's cool. Well, this is actually. <laughs> Uh, temporary the effects of these eye drops yeah. so it's not necessarily completely uh, biohacking but it is a very interesting field of uh, you know, introducing these things to the human body and yeah. for hopefully for improvement but, but I, it I think, scares me I mean, yeah because if you keep using these things like there's potential for this to possibly alter you and mm -hmm. this is like the equivalent of splicers and bioshock this plus it's the truth it's the that same the thing. This is basically a plasmid, so to speak. This is a plasmid. Well, yeah. if you see how they're introduced, it looks a little bit like a plasmid. Yeah, Do yeah, yeah, pictures? yeah, yeah. Ah, he's a monster. Oh, oh my goodness. He looks yeah. like he's taking a Yeah, selfie. I love it. He has Riddick eyes. He looks like yeah. Riddick. Oh, no. Yeah. This is the Chronicles of this Riddick. This is Riddick. Yeah. Ah, Look at that. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Oh man! I don't like it. Now I'm thinking Dead Space too. Yeah, yeah, dude. Oh, no. Right now. I know uh, what scene you're talking about, uh, and I hate it. Isaac Clark. Oh dear. Oh, oh god. Yeah. No, I think I, that's I can't cool. Can't get on though. board with this. It's it's too scary. Um, I'd give it a shot. I'm not. I'm adventurous. I'd give it a shot. I'd be like, hey, look. everyday people don't need that. It's for people who work at night mm -hmm. in the woods. Who works at night in the woods? I make a lot of blanket forts. You never Murderous. know when that would yeah, come Yeah, okay, we don't need this then. Let's, let's leave this in the <laughs> maybe lab. Maybe for soldiers. Yeah, maybe for soldiers mm -hmm. out in Iraq or something, but no. For everyday use, no, it's okay. Would you do it to yourself? Yes. No. No. What do you think, audience? One yes, two no's. I'm scared of it, but that's just me. Maybe you, you can see the greatness in these eye drops that terrifies me. Let me know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe for more.